it's a lot cheaper to get it seal coated than to replace the whole asphalt because you usually, you know, add another zero to the price if you want to get it sealed versus replaced. If you're thinking about starting a pressure washing business, but you want to learn more about the equipment, mixing chemicals, how to clean every surface on a residential job site, property protection, and much, much more, check out the how to wash course. It'll be the first link in the comment section and the descriptions. What is up, everybody? My name is Justin. This is Forever Self Employed. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about how to make a thousand dollars a day seal coating. I'm joined with a special guest. I have Greg here from Seal Coating is Life. Greg, how's it hey, going, man? It's going great. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely, man. Happy to have you. Um, I've seen some of your videos in the past, so I'm happy that you can come on and, and tell us a little bit about what you got going on. Before we get into that, though, if you guys want to learn how to land a ton of jobs from Facebook but don't know how to create good looking ads, check out the first link in the comment section and the description. That is going to be a link to contractor ads. They offer custom video ads designed for you and your business so that way you can attract more leads and drive more customers by standing out from your competition and stopping people from scrolling. So if you're interested in learning more, check out the first link in the comment section and the description. But without further ado, Let's go ahead and hop into the video. So first and foremost, tell us about what seal coating is and uh, how you got into it. So I always say it's somewhere in between like staining a deck and having your nails done. It puts a little protective layer on your driveway, gives it that curb appeal. It can fix any cracks, potholes. It just gives, uh, gives it the once over. Also, it kind of lines up the grass along your driveway to just make your driveway really pop. Now, how I got into this business is my friend was a seal coder and I kind of didn't know what it was. And he was staying over at my house one time. We had this big party. He didn't end up coming home. So his boss ended up showing it up, up at my house looking for this guy. And he goes, where is he? Where is he? And I was like, I don't know. And he goes, do you want to work? And I was like, okay so i ended up just hauling buckets in his pickup truck all day and that was my first time seal coating and he goes you want to do this again and i said yeah you know we were working out in the sun and he gave me a chris hundred dollar bill and he said good job and then i was hooked after that and that was geez maybe 16 years ago wow and so you've been in seal coating for a long time then on and off yeah since i was uh, 20 years old okay excellent so how'd you make the transition from working for someone and like when did you realize i can actually do this for myself and, and start going your own way with it a few years ago i was doing a lot of traveling and coming back and forth in and out of the country and then i didn't want to work for a, a company to be specific because i couldn't you know necessarily guarantee that i'd be able to give up my whole summers for them so what i ended up doing was just getting a pickup truck and then having some buckets and then i was doing friends and family going door to door just selling my own jobs just being my own boss excellent man yeah it's always better to work for yourself and you know obviously you keep more money uh that way as well was there any learning curves that went along with you doing it your own way like finding the customers or pricing the jobs or anything like that it's a lot easier to just do the jobs rather than take the jobs sell the jobs measure the jobs and then go out and seal coat the jobs so there's a lot of learning of how to deal with customers how to schedule time how to create a budget and everything like that there's a lot of logistics you know more than just spraying the sealer on the driveway how much money do you need to get into a business like this whenever you split what was that investment like in order for you to get going by yourself basically a blower a weed whacker you know buckets from your local hardware store and a squeegee or a broom or a brush like i use so maybe that's like maybe a couple thousand bucks right there that's it excellent excellent so people can get into this business for relatively cheap then right yeah the labor is like the most intensive part not necessarily the uh the products that you're using okay excellent so what's the price range for like a typical driveway i know everything ranges depending on where you're at and a lot of other factors but if you could just give us a ballpark on that yeah so you, you want to set like a base price for your driveways you don't want to go out there i mean and do a hundred dollar driveway unless you're doing for instance like um like a bunch of townhouses that are all in the same community, then you can start doing price breakdowns. Like if you're booking 20 jobs, you could do those 20 jobs for $100 a piece. But usually we have a kind of a minimum of 250 that we shoot for, for like just to be able to drive out there to do it. And about how long would that probably take you to uh, knock out? Half hour. Half hour. Wow. So you, you can make a good amount of money relatively quickly then, right? Yes. I mean, I can. I mean, that wasn't the case in the very beginning, but just I've been doing it for so long that, yeah, I can almost do this with my eyes closed. And, you know, some of the people that I work with, we don't even need to speak with each other. We've been working together, you know, on and off for so long that, like, I know what he's thinking. Or even if I'm out by myself, I can just do it in, in a half hour. Right. And that's one of the most appealing parts to getting into a job like this or, or doing this type of work is low barrier to entry, um, you know, not a high cost to get into it as well as you can make a lot of money within a short period of time. Is that is that pretty much right? Yeah. So like and everything you need, you can basically get at your local hardware store. 
Excellent, excellent. That makes it even easier. Uh, yeah. How many of these do you think you could do in a day? Oh, townhouses, we've done over 30 in a day. Wow, at about yeah. like 250 each, would you say? Yeah. Or? Yep. Excellent, excellent. And then like once you get into bulk pricing, obviously you can probably do some discounts from there, but that's that's incredible, 30 a day. So you kind of broke it down in the beginning of this video, but why do people need to get this service done? And like, what are the selling points whenever you're trying to get someone to purchase? So there's a few different ones. There's just aesthetics, just because they want it to look good. Um, snow plows here in Pennsylvania, like when you get your driveway plowed, it'll scrape the very middle of the driveway. So you'll have this white streak going up your driveway and it'll be black on all the other sides. So they want that driveway just jet black. And you know, when there's trees growing into your driveway and it's an old house, it can start to crack up. So you want a hot tar over that or crack patch over that. And then you want to seal on top of that. It's also to make your driveway last longer because it's a lot cheaper to get it seal coated than to replace the whole asphalt because you usually, you know, add another zero to the price if you want to get it sealed versus replaced. Like a $700 driveway to get sealed could cost seven or even $10,000 to have the whole driveway replaced. Wow. So this is something that's much more cost effective than obviously replacing it. Yeah. yeah. I think you'd mentioned Pennsylvania. Um, yes just then so is this more uh, up north i know driveways in the south uh, i think we more more so have concrete rather than asphalt uh do you see these more up north or yeah so like as i've been as far south as like uh, virginia and i know that they have asphalt driveways and i'm like on a couple different groups i know they have it in boston but like here in pennsylvania like we're in suburban philadelphia almost i would say 95 percent of the driveways are asphalt especially because like you can see in some of my videos like some of these driveways are a half a mile long out in these woodsy areas so it just wouldn't be cost effective to have a hundred thousand dollar concrete driveway versus like a fifteen thousand dollar asphalt driveway wow i bet you'd like to get some of those huh whenever whenever they're super long like that yeah, especially in the summertime, like these, some of these houses are just so beautiful and it's great to do the job. And it's also great to film these houses too, because like some of these mansions out here are just like beautiful, beautiful homes. Absolutely, man. Uh, how often does this service need to be done? Like how often are people calling you back every year, every couple of years? It's all different. Some people like to have it done every year, which, you know, we say we don't recommend, you don't need it done every year. Some people do two, three years. And we did one the other day that lasted five years because they had it clean, they had it pressure washed the first time we did it. So like, the, you know, the cleaner the driveway, the more the sealer will adhere and the longer it'll last. So Absolutely. yeah, I mean, usually we say about three years, give us a call every three years. Okay. Yeah. And from a business perspective, obviously we like things that are, uh, you know, more frequent than less frequent, right? Cause we right. have to return to customers, but I was just curious from that aspect, how often um, they need to be done. So about every three years. That's yeah. So unfortunately, if you do it right, you know, it lasts three years. I mean, they don't need to do it every year. <laughs> right. Right. When you do a good job for your customers. Um, yeah. so I know you had told me a little bit about the uh, training course that you put together on uh, more information if people wanted to learn how they could implement this into their business or how they could start a seal coating business. You want to tell us a little bit about uh, what's in the training and you know what it includes? Yeah. So like one of the questions I've been getting on my channel a lot is like, this seems like a great job. How do I get involved? And so I teamed up with Asphalt Kingdom and we put together like an A to Z Kickstarter course for how to start your own seal coating business. Everything from what materials you need, how to attract new customers, how to turn customers into sales, how to apply the sealer, how to you know stay in contact with those customers and how to develop repeat, repeat business in this industry. We have everything from all the lists you need, from all the supplies. It's just like really an A to Z. We walk you through how to, you know, buy your first sealer, how to get your first customers, and then how to turn those customers into repeat business, which is what you want. Excellent. I love it. So for anybody who's interested in that, I'll leave a link to that as the first link in the comment section and the description. So if you want to learn more about how you can possibly start a seal coating business or what it all uh, includes, check out the first link in the comment section description. Uh, Greg, that's pretty much all the questions I have for you today, man. But uh, every guest that comes onto the channel gets picked the word of the day. So what would you like the word of the day to be? Stratocaster. Stratocaster is the word of the day. If you can spell it, you get bonus points. But if you comment that down below, I'll hashtag you a real one. Um, Greg, thank you so much for coming on to the channel. I will leave a link to uh, his channel down in the comment section description so you guys can check him out. But my name is Justin. This is Forever Self Employed. And until next time, hustle hard and get Thanks, Justin. Peace. <laughs>